What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Disney Cars unboxing. Today, I am going to be opening up 2018 Roscoe. And I was actually very excited when I found him at Child's Play. If you don't remember, I found him in Hunt 13, which I uploaded about five days ago or so. But anyways, Roscoe, I'm very glad I finally got him. This is actually, I feel like this is the more accurate version to his release because the one that was released in 2017 wasn't a deluxe it was a single release I um I believe so so this is a more accurate de release I really like the card art for him he looks absolutely amazing says deluxe this is a Thailand release the main giveaway is that the there's a little crevice Right here for the name tag, but also it tells you on the back right here, Made in Thailand. Um, when I picked this guy up from the store, I don't know, the back of it just seems very, not faded, but completely different feel to it than what any other card does. And again, Thunder Hollow. Crazy 8 right there. Figure 8 track. Um... That's where the price tag was. I took it off. <laughs> but yeah, his card art looks pretty amazing. They, um, from looking at the card art, they don't have all the details. Like, they could have added, like, you can see here, he has some faded paint on the front of his hood. They don't add, they didn't add that in the die cast. Um, they could have added some more rust effects. But, you know, for what he is, he's actually pretty cool. Um, let's read the description for the series the description for the series reads it's crazy eight night at Thunder Hollow Speedway very simple some other characters released in the series is RV Mr. Drippy and Ms. Fritto I have all of these characters and no it looks like this no this is a 2019 release I believe so this is a 2019 deluxe 2018 2019 because this this type of series thing is being split into both years so it's a 2018 2019 release um but yeah i'm, I'm actually pretty excited to open this guy so we back with roscoe out of the packaging here is roscoe out of the packaging and i have to say he looks absolutely amazing um so the first thing that i noticed on when i got him out of the packaging was the eyelids a lot of people say that thailand kind of changed the way they make the eyelids um i can ag i do have to agree the eyelids on roscoe here aren't the best i would definitely refer to chinese made one um i just i don't know i just don't really like the eye the eyelids on this one but overall the die cast is pretty well made um they put pretty well detail into them but you know the eyelids stand out they're a completely different green than what the main body is and yeah it kind of it does have a kind of a, a 3d effect but yeah I, don't, I just don't really like it that much marlene or marilyn whoever her name is like if we get her down this is a thailand release that i got for christmas and i actually liked the eyelids of marlene here a lot of people and this was my first thailand card and uh, and when i reviewed when I did an unboxing of her, I was like, I, I I actually like this. I actually like the eyelid design of this character. But with this one, I don't know. It's the, it's the complete opposite. I just don't really like the eyelids of this Roscoe. Um, hopefully, it's not for all the timing cards that are being released. Hopefully, sometime. Hopefully, the next timing card I get will have a better eye expression design because Marilyn here she's de she's a time end release and I like it they put very well work into this model but with um but with Roscoe here man again I just don't really like the eyelids but anyways let's move on now it's a little rant let's move on from that rant to the rest of the die cast the grill here resembles a mustache. Um, I would say decent. Well made headlights. Not the best. I would. Not the well. Not the best detail on headlights. 
again, for comparison, one in. Looks a little better. The printing, I don't know. I don't have the Mattel movies, like the, the Chinese made Roscoe, so I can't really compare. But I'm pretty sure the Chinese made Roscoe has better headlight detail. Here's the bumper. On his hat, it reads Thunder Hollow Speedway. On the side here, he has the Thunder Hollow poster again with mud splashes up him. This is um like a stair thing. His rims have rust on it. Some more mud splash. On the back, we got a spare tire, Thunder Hollow Speedway, a few stickers. And his um, license plate reads, and charge pretty well designed well thought of um, above and below it um below it it kind of sees it looks like it says route or route something above it I can't really read it but I am pretty sure if you put a magnify fine glass underneath it you'll be able to read what it says well, I looked at it through a magnifying glass, and um, I didn't notice anything. Here, let, let's, let, let's show you very quickly. See that? That's a magnifying glass. Not the best lighting for it. But if you can tell me if you can read that. Let me know, because I looked through, through a magnifying glass with better lighting than this, and I couldn't really read it. I'm, but I'm pretty sure the first word is route. Okay, let's refocus. There we go. Anyways, you got the spare tire, got the brake lights on the hollow. Um, dirt, dirt splashes again. On the side of him right here, it reads Roscoe. Plastic mirrors, a little flimsy. You can bend them, but I wouldn't recommend bending them too much because then you'll break them off. These things, I'm not quite sure where they are. I looked at the design art of them. He has on the design art too, but I don't know. Sometimes trucks, like pickup trucks, have these things on to like wrap a rope around them or like rope, yeah, like rope with them um, or. Um, What's the other stuff? Wire with um, a hook on the end for towing. But I don't I don't think that's what the need of these things are. They're probably something else, but that's probably that's a um, prediction. On the base, very interesting. It says made in Thailand, so you can be reminded that it's a Thailand car, even though for this one you can just look at the eye eye expression and just Say, oh, that's definitely a timing card. And look, he actually has he actually has um some type of screws put into him. I don't know if the Chinese one had screws. I'm pretty sure they used rivets. While in here, they used um, rivets. So that's pretty interesting. You got Mattel some coding, and then Disney Pixar. Roscoe here is actually a pretty interesting model. Like if you think about, it, he's actually just a pickup truck. He's actually picking truck because he has a bed cover. This is a bed cover right here. And same thing with Todd. If you see Todd, Todd is actually a pickup truck. A, if you saw my Disney cars in real life, he's actually like a 19, uh, I would say 90s or early 2000s Toyota because Toyota, if you take out the words that has the word yo in it. So it's a Toyota of some sort, probably 2001, 2002. But this is a bed cover for the pickup truck. So Roscoe is a more updated version of a pickup truck, but he also has a bed cover and similar design too. They got the mini window right here, and then they got a giant window, and then they got a big back window, and then the same design on this one. So Roscoe is actually a pickup truck. Uh, I'm put, I'm, I don't know if you guys knew that, because looking at him, he kind of looks like an SUV but that is a bed cover. And before we go, let's just put them together with um, Chester Whipple filter and Francis belt line.
This is when Lightning and Cruz met him during the beginning of the Crazy 8 scene. Which was actually a pretty good scene. One of my favorite scenes from the movie. And this is them in the matte finish. So this is them from the 5 pack, I believe. That was released only in Walmart's. But I, but Rasu here, I don't believe he's a matte finish. He might be. This might be a matte finish. Doesn't really feel like a matte finish. Like this is a glossy finish, very glossy. Yeah, looks like Rasu is a matte finish. But anyways, that's actually it for this review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review of Rasu again. The only thing that lets me down is the eyelids. Eyelids could have done better, Tynan. Hopefully. They listen to the audience of the Disney Cars franchise and they improve on that because I really hope not every time in car has messed up eyelids. Well, they don't because Mar Marlene doesn't, but Roscoe here um, doesn't do so well in the eyelid category. But anyways, guys, that's actually it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.